last week, I thought it was a pretty big story that I, I was witnessing when it happened. Um, uh, rapper Lil Dirk, man, you know what I'm saying? They call him, you know, the biggest rapper in Chicago right now. Uh, he actually had a phone call with FYBJ, man, who you could say, you know, the biggest blogger right now, from, but from the other side, you know what I'm saying? And in the conversation, man, they really, you know, was speaking about pushing peace, man, uh, on both sides, man. Lil Dirk really, you know, let it be known that he's trying to push peace and anybody who's not pushing peace in the future wouldn't be around him. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually looking forward to like the internet's response to that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I thought, I thought that'd be a major story, Lil Dirk, pushing peace, pushing peace. A week went back, bro. I ain't see one real big blog or no no real people report on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. I thought that was interesting. You know what I mean? First and foremost, I thought that was interesting. Then, um, I think a few days after the Lil Dirk situation, they had interviewed uh, Trick of 600. Mm -hmm. And he was basically saying, look, man, Lil Dirk don't really call it for the streets. And it's a street niggas start pushing peace in the actual streets. You know, that shit ain't never going to end. Um, did you did you see that shit when it happened, the little dirt shit? Yeah, hell yeah, I seen that shit. When I first seen it, I was like, this amazing game, because regardless if blood shit was between the two individuals or not, it was still spilled on both sides of what the sides they claim. So they was I probably not direct ops, but I think so. You feel me? I don't know the way everything went. And so the fact they was able to let love beefs and bygones be bygones and had that grown up conversation, that was amazing for one. I could mean both the men, but for two. Did Lil Durk, like, is he okay with it being leaked? Because, you know, he one of the type of people that I feel like thrives on privacy. You know, he had to leak his Instagram with somebody close to him died, some shit like that, just because he don't want too many um people in his business and just screenshot and shit for stories. So that's why I was probably also thinking, like, maybe some, they didn't pick it up because maybe he didn't want it to be leaked. What you think about that? Just leaking the conversation in general. Yeah, and hey, you know what? It's, it's crazy you say that because, like, when I first saw the news, it was like this conversation got leaked. So then I went and did my little investigation. J Main leaked it itself. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So I mean, I you know what? We haven't heard nothing back. We haven't heard J Main talk about it. We haven't seen maybe what the next steps is of that conversation. Maybe it, it could be a chance that that messed up the conversation, like messed up the flow and shit by J Main hurrying up and dropping it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, for sure. I think personally it was real big for J Main. So I think that yeah. chances are Dirk didn't want him to do that, but he did it because you know a lot of people like man, right before J Main lost his channel the, the what the first time, that's all he was on was like, I'm I'm saying to Dirk, we pushing peace. Mm -hmm. I done talked to Dirk. So to me, this was like the full circle of his story of everything that's been happening with J Main for like the past year. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. And I remember that shit. He even told Dirk. Uh, he said, uh, he said, uh, what the fuck? Something about remember that in the conversation. He said, When I said I was signed to you, bro, uh, some some Dirk started laughing, so yeah. he, he even mentioned that to Dirk about when Jack J Man was doing that. And this, I gotta, I gotta commend them brothers for doing that. That was big as fuck, gang. But what Dirk, was. you think with 051, you think he's able to do that with 051 now? So that's so then that's the next, up? I was gonna say, that's the next question. Which okay. is like, how far do this piece go? That's what trigger the shit with trigger six hundred make a lot of sense, bro. Because I ain't even gonna say the apartment buildings I was walking out of. I don't want to drop this nigga low, but it was a security guard, and this is probably last week, like Thursday. Um, I'm walking out this building, and the man was like, "He's I seen him before though, so he's like, oh, what's up, X? Hey, check it out.'" And I walked a little farther. He like, "Hey, man, he's eating some some. I never forget some fitness. Hey, man, what you think about the shit with Jay made them because?" Dude, that's rich nigga shit. You know, Jet Man probably ain't dirt rich, but he, he he got more money than us. He said, you need to try to go to these hoods and see if these young men. I was like, man, look, I ain't going to be the one to be mediated with this shit. You know I mean? <laughs> They're going to they want money. You know, and I can't blame them. They probably want to get paid to have a professional sit down in a safe, secure place. I can see people from the hood doing that, like people that's active members. But Trigger was right. This real shit that start, because it's going to be broke niggas in the hood on either side. Like, man, fuck that shit. I ain't about trying to hear that shit. I see dude, I'm gonna kill him. So it takes somebody out that one out from the crowd of shorties to do that. But the thing is, bro, I, I, I'm playing devil's advocate a little bit about this, bro. 
I'm honestly like we need to find a, a source for the gun violence and of course it's these niggas, man, it's the gang bangers, but when it's they deep into this shit, when it's blood loss and motherfuckers trying to get that lick back because people sexualize murder now. Like that becomes something motherfuckers like you can't even hang with a certain crowd if you got bodies. So these shorties right. chasing these bodies and who they gonna kill? The ops. And then in, in their eyes, they getting their lick back. The only way that these little niggas that's in the game banger right now is they got to grow up. The shit, Vaughn, like you said before we get to Vaughn on 1700, that shit sound cool. You sitting on the podcast, let it be one of us when we was 18. We just said something totally different. So it sound cool, but when you 30, I'm going to be 30, man. I'm no longer feeling like I have to play offense. And when they grow up, they're going to realize that there's nothing pushing peace, nothing sitting down that talk could do. When they say they tired of getting tired of killing and almost dying and going to jail because how many niggas you know that's 45 doing life talking about some, I don't regret what I did, but if I knew what I knew now, I'll be living for a different purpose. Shit, every single one of them, shit, every single one of them in that position wish they would have made a different decision. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was saying about that, bro. Honestly, because I've been people, I don't when I talk to them, these conversations we have off camera. So now we on camera, I can say it, but like it's nothing we could do. And then it's like it's just it's just they have to phase out that shit, man. I don't want to say that's like, people just gotta grow up. The generations gotta grow up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the maybe people like us, we got to reach out to the kids mm -hmm. to stop them before they even get to that level. Because once they there, they not going to phase out of it until they grow up, have a family, take some yep. losses and shit. You know what I'm saying? So Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, so check this out, though. So okay. I thought it was funny that so Dirk did the whole pushing piece thing. It didn't really get that much talk. But you've seen a lot of street dudes react to it. You saw... Uh, 600 uh, trigger react to it and then in Dirk's newest video he just released a, a snippet to his newest song he's name dropping some members from 600 um, and got a lot of 600 members like hey what's this about Um, I saw I think 600 Breezy it kind of had a little like he ain't understand Um, I believe Mimo when he sat down with J-Man because Mimo just sat down with J-Man too Um, I believe that the other 600 members ain't really understanding where they're coming from. I don't know if that's because of the trigger situation and the push and pee situation, but it just seemed like it's a disconnect. Um, and, and and when this when this shit happened, bro, I ain't gonna lie. So people called me that wasn't from Chicago, like, yo, this is big. This big is peace, it's peace. And I was trying to tell them, I'm like, look, bro, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's like Dirk might Dirk got power, but he he don't got the power that people think he got in Chicago. Yeah, like you know, the voice of the streets and shit. Yeah, like I, I can feel you. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody say you can't get, you can't get yourself that title, but like, could you get street niggas to listen to you that you don't know? You know what I mean? Like that type of man. That's that's real power right there. Like, it's, real it's, power. Like, it's, it, it's definitely who real it? power. Um, but who could? Because I like, who could? But who you think? Motherfuckers talking about Dirk can't do it, and if Dirk can't do it, can Chief keep do it? He started in people's eyes. He started this shit. I don't think none of the rappers can do it, man. I think I think it's people in Chicago that's active, um, maybe on both sides. So maybe they politically active and street active. Maybe they could offer opportunities and stuff. I think it's some people in Chicago that could could really turn up the hood and bring a lot of opportunities to the hood, which I think could help with that. You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy, bro, that I'm thinking about? Because the way you're saying, you, you talking right now, it sounds like we need another motherfucking um, civil rights movement. Remember how we had Martin Luther King, Malcolm X? We yeah, ain't had no one of them since they knocked them out, since the government that's what got I'm rid saying, of them. bro, you know, but that's ain't that point tell from. Exactly. That shit go deeper. But even nobody speaking up for the community, the real, besides like Golden Child, I got to give him his, his, uh, his props. You know what I'm talking about? Dirk I do know who you're talking about. Yeah. I, I heard him, bro. He, he, he in there. He in the trenches doing yeah. thing. Is that he doing his thing? I see him all the time. I need to comment more, but I see I like all that shit because he trying. You know, he actually doing it the different way because y'all told you, man, if that's how you feel, you know what I'm saying? You come out duck down for the cereal and shit like that. That's crazy. But if that's how he feels, then he need to get out here in the streets then. Risk your life like Brother did. Facts. That's that's how they said the, pod, the podcast not really enough, man. Mm hmm Shout you out, bro, man. Shout out that if people don't know, man, X Man Rico, man, we got him on the show today, man. Appreciate big, you. big time. The biggest blogger. I don't even like the blogger shit. 
But the biggest media outlet on the West Side right now, Chicago, top five Chicago. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Appreciate you. I sure. see, I see your movement from the from the ride throughs to the to the when how, how that started to the to the commentary uh, on what's going on in the streets to the hood, the hood where you pull up and actually chop it up with people in Chicago, man. So I just want to shout you out. If people don't know, man, y'all go follow the boy X Man Rico, man. He really he's talking about it. These is real people that's really from Chicago that's talking about it. You know what I'm saying? So I oh, thought definitely. it was important. You know what I'm saying that we at least throw that out there because you, I'll be surprised where it be a lot of people that don't be knowing shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. They yeah. don't be knowing hey, shit. Hey, hey, I created a term for us though. When the people that don't like bloggers who like. Who you feel me? Who got morals or standards? Because there's some bloggers I hell who do anything. But I was on Vice and I said I'm a professional conversationalist. They put that as my title. 